Hello there, I'm Colonel Failure. This is Train Fever, and uh, we're coming to the end of the Age of Steam. We are, uh, we're, we're going to be retiring both of the Havertukes and Haverbex uh, lines and locos uh, in, the, in the very near future. Oh, look at that, look, look, you see the trains crossing over, I hadn't planned that in the slightest, it just looks amazing. If I hadn't been going at full speed, it would have looked even better. Um, I digress, as is so often the case. Right, so what are we going to be doing? Well, we're going to be retiring both of our, our remaining A4s. Uh, both our steam trains have uh, have reached their uh, the end of their lifespan. And uh, and as a result, it's high time we, uh, we upgraded them to something a little bit more modern. Now, in order for us to do that, uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is uh, upgrade the track that they run on. Yes, my friends. Once again, we are track upgrading, because that always ends in a resounding success. I'm sure you can recall the number of random successes that uh, the track updates have, uh, have yielded over the various episodes, and we're going to be doing it again. And it's going to work, first time, flawlessly. Everything is going to come up, Trump's going to come up properly, it's all going to be so, let's stop mucking about and retire these trains. Let's let's get them out of the picture first. Uh, we'll start with this fellow here. I got bad news for you, my friend. This was your last journey. So, as soon as he turns round, we'll send him out to uh, send him out to pasture. There we go. Oh, handsome! Three hundred and seventy-five grand made from that journey. Well. Yes, I know. It's, it's unfortunate, but uh, but good things always come to an end. There you go. He's out of here. Now, where's his uh, his comrade in steam? There we go. Over here. Come on, turn around. In fact, I'm going to wait for this guy to get to the station, uh, rather than throw away 79 passengers worth of revenue. Um, okay, so what are we going to do? Well, we're going to uh, high-speed double track all the way from Bexhill through Haverhill, here, all the way up to Tewkesbury. Now, as uh, I'm sure you can recall, we've got this wretched looking steel girder bridge thing going into Tewkesbury at the moment, um, and I'm not going to replace it now, I'm going to replace that some other time. I'm going to figure out why it isn't working and, uh, and replace it in due course. Uh, we, can, we can work with one single piece of track there. Uh, but everywhere else, we will upgrade the lot. We will uh, we will keep it thoroughly modern. Yes, I know. I'm about to replace you. Get a grip. Um, and uh, yeah, and uh, as such, uh, we'll be able to run the the biggest, the baddest, the fastest that uh, that the game has to offer. So as soon as you drop off, right to the depot with you. Grand. Okay. I, we never really took enough time appreciating the uh, the glorious age of the A4. Um, you're sold, uh, and uh, and that's something of a shame. But you know, we're a progressive, forward-looking society. Maybe, uh, maybe going slightly post-apocalyptic in the future. But uh, let's let's follow this guy on his final journey. Let's give him the send-off that he so richly deserves. he heads towards a museum, which is undoubtedly where I'm sending him to. Oh, it is actually the Mallard. Huh. How much fun is that? Splendid. Okay, so we're going to be doing double tracking, we're going to be doing electrification, we're going to be removing all the old signals and all the old waypoints and replacing them with, uh, with new ones. Um, initially, we will be... Uh, uh, what will we be doing initially? Uh, initially, we will be run Why did I just zip over here? How strange. Um, yeah, we'll run two trains on there initially, and uh, and we'll upgrade it to, to three, uh, running a shuttle service much like we're doing on the, whatever it's called, the, the Ripon to, uh, to Great Torrington. We'll run three on there, and, uh, and actually, if we manage to get done in good time, I'll, uh, I'll have another look at that and, and see about maybe adding another train on there as well. I know, madness. Trains everywhere. Uh, okay, so first things first, let's get rid of all the old signals. Because they were really put up before I had even the faintest idea what I was doing. Uh, don't get me wrong, I, I, I'm, not exactly, uh, I'm not exactly genius level already. Um, 
I am, however, optimistic that since we're all, all that we're going to be doing here, we're not building any new track. We're simply double lining a lot of what we've got already and, uh, and electrifying it, right? So that shouldn't cost us a huge amount of money, which is probably a good thing since, uh, since the trains are going to cost me a huge amount of money, particularly if we take the locomotives I have in mind. Uh, so yeah, so we need to upgrade all of this to high speed line. Um, let's, should we start with the, uh, the complicated bit first? I think we'll start with the complicated bit first. Okay. Right, so first things first, my, my favourite stuff in the whole world. Let's get bulldozing. Why am I bulldozing this? I hear you. Because that piece of track was coming in on the wrong side. Yes, it was. So what we want to do, uh, we're going to go straight for high speed line. We're going to put catenary on. Catenary? Caternary? Uh, which is uh, additional electrification, which I believe is running the track, but... Uh, you can tell I'm not an expert and I'm just blagging this, right? So I'll just shut up and do it. Right, so there you go. He's coming in on that side, which means that his uh, his twin rail... I don't know why everything's male. Maybe the stations are female. Uh, who knows? I, you know, I'm an, I'm an equal opportunity incompetent train engineer. Uh, here we go. And then we'll bang you into there. Lovely. Right, so fundamentally nothing has changed. We'll do the upgrade here same time so we've got full high speed going uh, all the way into Bexhill and of course I've, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this out further in the future but for now I'm, I'll, I'll be happy if we just get it we just get it you know working so we've got a you know we've got a top speed of 300 kilometers an hour going through there which uh, which is pretty exciting Put high speed rail electrify it make sure we haven't missed a bit I'm pretty sure all of this is already suitable. Uh, what I will do, though, is I will... Uh, now, which is more likely? What are you more likely to need? Well, we're going to want to go both ways, but we'll put that side there. That needs electrifying. And this side here. No, that's a collision. Collision? Yes, that's a collision, my friends. Uh, there we go. Right. Magnificent. Check for electrification. Yep. Yep. Okay. I am pretty confident that that's, that's that end done. So let's have a look. Now, if this works first time, uh, you will all be terribly impressed, and you will say so in comments. You will go, my gosh, I'm terribly impressed with, with how much better you are at this now than you used to be. And I go, well, thank you very much. It's, it's jolly decent of you to say so. However, the reality of the thing is that this isn't going to work first time. Because uh, we're going to get rid of our, our original two passenger lines. Now you've taken that off from the wrong point. Uh, important safety tip, right? So I could start my rail here. And if you're not paying attention, you can do just that. And it'll be relatively happy. And you can you can branch it off. But what you can't do is get it to... No, you can. He said. All right, well, when I've done it in the past, unless you take it off the end, not off the, off the very end... Oh, maybe, if, maybe it's the other way around. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Either way, though, look, you can either continue your track onwards from the very end or from one track back. And one of them doesn't like snapping. See, look, this one doesn't like snapping now. Doesn't like snapping to the other rail. Unless you put it in exactly the right place. Okay, never mind. Tutorials aren't really my thing. Uh, you know, as much as I may pretend that uh, I'm a tutorial expert. If, frankly, I'm wrong when I give the tutorial, then uh, let's, just, let's just not do that. And why are you now mismatching? Come on, you swine. You should, uh, you should be all over this. Come on. Snap. Snap. I can see you doing it. There we go. Now, I don't want to go down in quite such a short, chunk-at-a-time fashion. I want to go down here gangbusters. I want to go absolutely miles. Although since we're metric, absolutely kilometers, which is not a phrase that we use. Uh, right, onwards, 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 onwards. 
the goal here is to get this done quite quickly. So let's just bang all the way over here. Right, let's zoom back in again. Hope that doing such a complicated maneuver isn't going to crash the game. Come on. Snap. That does look like it snapped to me. Yep. Okay. Groovy. So at this point you start to go like, well actually look, look, with this cornering we've got going on here, we're bleeding off from the, the top speed that this train can actually do. Uh, don't get me wrong, there aren't any locomotives at the moment that can do over 200 kilometers an hour, um, but there will be in the future. And, uh, and I want to make sure I can use those guys straight away. Right, so, given that everything likes driving on the right, I apologize for having to remind myself of this, but I have to remind myself of this. Then, is that going to cause any problems? No, no, Haverhill is fine and dandy, except it needs electrifying there. And where I got caught out before in the uh, the multi-episode Why Won't These Trains Run, it was because of during the, the approach to the station I'd missed like one, one tiny piece of track. But we look to be okay there. Right, onwards. My goal is to get this running in this episode. Yeah, I know. Talk about lofty goals. Uh, that doesn't look like high-speed track to me. Let's uh, high-speed high you boys. There we go. All the way up there. And then do the same with electrification because all this is already double-tracked. I'd love to know if there was an easier way to do this. And, and it will be some kind of uh, methodology whereby you check each piece of track in sequence. But actually, you know, tr effectively traveling along the track to make sure you haven't missed a piece is very laborious. These are both high speed, aren't they? They certainly look it. Yeah, yeah, they're both high speed. And I haven't fundamentally changed the layout at all. So we shouldn't have any difficulties in terms of, see, look, there's a bit that's that's just just designed to catch you out. Actually, that one's less subtle than, than many. Though. I mean, that looked like it could possibly be a... No, 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 that's okay. Yeah, I mean, it's quite happy as, you know, if you've got one long swooping section of track, uh, it's quite happy to uh, to do the whole lot in one go. But sometimes you've set your track up in such a way that uh, long swooping sections aren't a thing and that uh, you've got little little fiddly sections instead. It doesn't... Oh, yeah, no, 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 that's fine. Good. And the good news is this is relatively inexpensive. Well, the good news for me, anyway, I mean, I'm, I can find, you know, endless numbers of ways to spend every last penny I've got. Here we go. We're almost there. Let's electrify that. Let's make that high speed. Make sure the station is done. We don't need to do the other side, but we will do anyway. And that bit. Make sure we've got both sides. High speed that. I'm going to make this work at some point. Uh, as I've mentioned before, at some point, possibly when I've got 20 million in the bank, I'm going to overhaul pretty much all the track that I've got uh, that is not. I mean, it's it's not. You, I mean, you can't really see it when you zoom out. Uh, it's not brilliantly elegant now. Okay. Let's take a first pass to seeing if we can uh, if we can route this. Okay, so this is line one. Now this is going to be uh, this is going to be Tukes Bex. Bex Tukes, which do we prefer? Well, Tukes was our Tukes Bex commuter. Okay, I, I think I think I'm developing a a, a, a kind of a, a strategy here as we speak. Uh, in that, what we'll do is is we'll develop new new places. Actually, are those grouped? Yes, they are. Um, yeah, we'll develop new towns by doing a point-to-point, -point, so we'll use an express. And then once that has been developed, we'll uh, we'll upgrade it to a commuter route, tapping on where possible.
possible. Right, okay, so we are coming up on the right, where you go onto the wrong line for no good reason. But that's okay, I can live with that. It's because you want to come out the other way. All right, come in on the right, come back out on the left, or on the right. Let's go, let's follow it around. Hopefully I can get away with not having to give any signals as waypoints on this one. Although if I do, it will usually be an indication that I've missed a bit. See, so why are you uh, why are you switching there? You shouldn't want to switch. Not only that, but I don't want you to switch. Okay, so you are then going to single track it all the way up there. Now, now the fact that it switches back over there maybe means that we've missed a bit here. Interesting. Let's uh, let's well, let's call up the right bit and then uh, and then check it thoroughly. I don't. I, it, equally, it might be meaningless at the moment since uh, since we haven't even declared what uh, what trains we're going to be running down here. All right, let's uh, let's get some signalling in on the go. Uh, let's put one out there, and then so it's come from oh it's come from Be uh, Bexhill to Haverhill from Bexhill, and then we'll stop at Haverhill again on the way to Tewkesbury, and then I want you to go via this signal. Why would you do that? Ah, welcome again to Why Would You Do That? Which is one of my favourite tunes. This does indicate that there's a problem with this piece of track because it doesn't want to use it. What have we got going on here? I mean, that's just left over from the points. That's not nothing, nothing weird going on there. try this on. There you go. Now why are you switching sides? I don't want you to switch sides. Why are you doing that? You want to go on the right. You always want to go on the right. These trains that are obsessed with with, 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 with going on the wrong piece of flaming track. So after Tewkesbury we go via this one please. Yeah, just like that. Doesn't that make more sense? Follow this all the way up. No switching track. There's a bad idea, or oh, unless you have to, I suppose. No, you can switch track here. There is no reason in the world why you have to use that one. Okay, so let's put a signal in. Let's put it there. Except is that actually going to accomplish? Yeah, 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 that will accomplish something. Add station straight after Tewkesbury. I want you to go there. Excellent. Although, again, we're now insisting on going down this piece of track. Well, I'm not going to let that happen either. Go, and then after Tewkesbury signal one, I want you to stop at Tewkesbury signal two. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you who's boss. You know who's boss? I'm boss. You are not boss. You will do as I say. There we go. What have we got? What have we got? Are we there? I think we are. Okay, this certainly looks promising. All right. Okay, and then we will... Uh... Of course, this has now changed which side of the track it wants to come in on. Well, I can cope with that, I suppose. Uh, but we will put a signal here to uh, to stop the train to let whoever's in the station do their thing. Smashing. Right, let's buy a train and run it down this track. And it will work. And it will be flawless. And everyone will be happy and they will be celebrating. And I will be lauded as some kind of route-making genius. That is the level of confidence I have. Right, okay, so what are we going to run? Uh, now, the choices really are this 6-6. Uh, which can haul it 
and this will this will run until the end of the simulation. Uh, 1.8 million for the locomotive. That's hefty, hefty. But it can pull a heck of a lot of carriages. Uh, other other options are the uh, the 218. Doesn't haul as much, but does go the same speed. Um, it's a bit cheaper, and it's a diesel, which uh, you know I need to be electrified. Uh, we've got the uh, the 103, two million, can do 200 kilometers an hour. Get in, big wump. Uh, it's pretty expensive. Uh, was only in service until 1997. Interesting. We could consider the uh, the Nohab, which we're currently running goods on. But you know, why would I do that? Uh, what else? And where are we? We're, we're 1973, so I mean, let's look to the future. This is the you know the biggest and baddest thing we've got. 1.25 million a year. It's not cheap to run, but only just more than the 66, and significantly more than this diesel effort. Now, the only reason that I'm not immediately having laid high-speed track, I'm not immediately going for the 103 with its 200 kilometers an hour, is because these goddamn wagons here, the, the, these passenger cars, can only do uh, 140. So there's no point in lashing out on the big button on the big bad guy here uh, when the, the coaches can't handle it. So what we want is 140 kilometers an hour uh, with plenty of hauling power, and I think it's going to be the 66. Six, six, yes. Yeah, let's do it. <sighs> right, okay. Now, uh, these carry 20, and I want a minimum capacity of, I want 120 passengers on these. So let's go, and it can certainly haul it. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa, that put a dent in my finances. How much are those each? 200 grand. Ooh, that's steep. Uh, so that's 1.2 million plus 1.8 million. That's 3 million for this train. Yikes! Okay. Uh, right, okay. Let's uh, let's stick this on the Tube Specs commuter. Right, we're going to need to make a little bit more money before I can buy another one of those. So let's uh, let's make a bit... Hold on, no, no, no. Let's watch it coming out. Hello there, my friend. We have to watch the new train coming out. Now... Let's check the timetable here and see if it can complete its circuit. It is saying, where are we? Tube specs can use six minutes. Good. Uh, meanwhile, Haver Bex is no more. Haver Chooks is no more. I know, ruthless. Uh, we are fairly early in the year though, and we've yet to have the uh, the Rip Tour kick off. Well, it has. It's already done two million, so that's that's quite cool. All right, where are you going? You should now, from here, go to Bex Hill. Splendid. Remember, we need we need, let's say, over three million in order to duplicate this train. Now, 120 is definitely overkill for now, um, but uh, I, I can see it being quite likely that we'll. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll be filling this this train to capacity before too long. And I really want to be running two trains down here as soon as possible so that I can see where we're going to need signalling in order to stop anyone having to, to hang around unnecessarily. Alright, here we go. Oh, look at this. Two trains coming in at once. You can't... You know, in the, oh, no. Three trains coming in at once. Slow it down to minimum speed here. Let's kill these windows. Oh, it's like, it's like real, it's like reality. With numbers coming out of the tops of the trains. That's ace. Excellent. Otherwise, happy-go-lucky people. Alright, have you picked up any passengers yet? Nope. But, we know already, it takes a little while for, for passengers to get the, their heads around a new service that has replaced a service that they had already come to know and love. So I'm going to... Let's uh, let's whiz this a little bit until we get to the point uh, where it picks up its first passenger and then we'll wrap it up. Um, so obviously this is a new train. Uh, if you would like to name it, uh, you know the drill by now. Uh, keep it relatively mature, uh, as in, you know, sensible. 
and uh, and stick it in the comments and you can name this big beast of a a big empty beast this is the kind of train you want to run where you wonder if it's actually in service anybody any takers at all anyone want it you sir or madam Perhaps I am the train you were waiting for. You, in the overalls. Get on board. There we go. We got someone on board. Right, and look. There's 11 waiting for, the, for, for it going the opposite direction, which also answers the other question of do people care which direction the train's going in? Ah, ha, 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 ha. And then, here, we've got 36 passengers waiting. Oh, they're all over this. They're, they're more than prepared for this grand change up in in the, the fortunes of something. Um, okay, let's just check the goods line while we're, while we're hanging around. You're carrying 13 of 80 iron. You really were worth the money, weren't you? Uh, meanwhile, what are you actually producing? It's not using the line. I don't know why. Because you hate me think. Uh, you are using the line. Well, that's jolly, jolly civilised of you. But you're not producing very much, so, you know, you're useless. And then over here, what are we doing? Well, you are also using the line. This is good. Try to ship more goods. I, I will ship as many goods as you can put on the platform, my friend. But ten, ten is not going to cut it. I mean, you know, they bring in money, just not quite enough of it. Where are we going? Nothing doing. Uh, let's have a quick look at the lines. Uh, Haverhill still is making a loss. Uh, Cheap Specs Commuter is making a loss, but it won't for long. Uh, what we have found is passengers are profitable. <gasps> Tewkesbury Coal is very nearly breaking even. Well, that's the spirit, Tewkesbury and your coal. That's, that's exactly the attitude that we want to see. I might change the iron route so that it doesn't stop at both stations. Maybe that will, maybe that will G-want them into life. Of course, it does make a bit of a mockery of the fact that I set this thing up in the first place. Doesn't it? Nothing waiting. Because you just don't care. Why? Where are you? Are you I bet you're sending stuff out as well. Yeah, you filthy peasant. Okay, right, look, I'm going to leave it there. Um, uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, I have been Colonel Failure, and this has been Train Fever. You, but you knew that, you've been watching. Um, please do stick up a comment uh, and subscribe if you haven't already. Why the hell haven't you already? And, uh, and chuck a like. Uh, like helps more people find the video in the first place. I am reliably informed. Look at this, hold on, wait, wait, wait. How many? 59? 59 is pretty good. Uh, I'll catch you next time. Thank you very much. Cheerio.